But now it just automatically updates because every year there's a subscription, predictable uh, income, which is good for the whole community. PaaS, SaaS, IaaS. Then the subscription model is something you can really buy into. Think about the way in which your business or service is inherently a service-sized uh, offering. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. These things have really been worrying people, you know, in the world of conspiracy theories. But actually, the concept of something as a service, it's, it's not new. It's been creeping up for years. You used to own your software. At least, you know, you bought the CD or, you, or, the, or the floppy disks, you know, put them in. And now it's your software and you had to go back and buy another one. But now it just automatically updates because every year there's a subscription or every month there's a subscription or maybe it's a cloud-based SaaS service, right? Imagine applying the servicization to your business or your career. Welcome to Security Weekly Marketing Thoughts with CTG Intelligence, your weekly look at marketing, PR, business development for your business and your career. This week, I'm going to say, please share, because if you share it, people can see that, you know, people actually are watching these videos and maybe they'll join the community too. Um, obviously, really good for me, but ideally good for the community too. So let's take a, a deeper dive. Servicization or servicialisierung, that's a German kind of movement as well. Um, it's not perhaps as insidious as it first sounds, because if you own something, then the onus is on you to update things. But if you buy a service, then, okay, contractual agreements aside, you generally can cancel it. And, and that's quite appealing to some businesses. That's why a lot of businesses, you know, rent or take a lease on a property because the, the, the costs are fixed, but also you can always scale down the costs. That's why when some investment capital firms are looking at companies, they're like, so what's the revenue? And you're like, yeah, well, they're making a loss. Yeah, but what's the revenue? They're interested because they think they can always thin out the costs. Anyway, whether or not that's right, that's another story. If you remember back in January, when we did our sort of predictions for the year, predictions for the decade, I suppose, servicization is right up there because, of course, that World Economic Forum conspiracy theory, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. But let's have a little academic look. A quote uh, from an article by Adam Orstemir, uh, Vinyak Deshpande, and Ali K. Palatuk, which is basically one of the first articles I found uh, in uh, Manufacturing and Service o Operations Management, the very, very uh, famous uh, you know, article. Um, I like it. It says, serviceization is a business strategy to sell the functionality of a product rather than the product itself. It has been touted as an environmentally friendly strategy as it encourages manufacturers to take more responsibility for their products. We study when serviceization results in a win-win outcome uh, where it can simultaneously increase a firm's profits and decrease its environmental impact compared with selling uh, products. So nice academic definition there, bit of a slant on uh, environmental impact, but why is this relevant to the security industry? Well, if you're an end customer, uh, I've been dissuaded recently from using end user. Anyway, if you're an end customer, of security products and services, then the subscription model is something you can really buy into. And I'm sure many of you have become you know, members of associations. You know, uh, obviously, that I'd love you to become a member of the BBA or the North American Bodyguard Association. And that subscription gets you into a community. It means that you do have skin in the game because you've paid a subscription, but it's gonna make sure that you engage more with that community. And conversely, it's good for the community because it means reassured revenue and reassured commitment. Um, there are some charity subscriptions that, you know, people put out there and then forget about and they just keep on getting deducted. And arguably, you should really be a bit more committed uh, if you're going to give to charity. Uh, but money, money's money and it's, it's, you know, it's good, good, good cause, no problem. But think about the way in which your business or service is inherently a service-sized uh, offering. If you're doing tactical radios, um, you're not really selling them, uh, you're renting them out. If you are looking for protective mobility, something B6, B7 maybe, but probably B6, um, you can't afford the new model of the car each year. So you're going to have to rent the service. 
um, you know, because your, your, your billionaire high net worth um, in a, a principal wouldn't be seen dead in last year's model, yet they must have something that is B6. So can't buy it each year or shouldn't really buy it. It's a bit of a waste. Better to rent. Same with carpooling. Same with a plane pool. And on the cyber side, of course, software as a service. If you're an architect, you're juggling SaaS. Keep that uh, SaaS juggler term in mind. We're going to talk more about that you know, later in the year. Um, you're juggling SaaS. And in which case, you're not owning SaaS. You're juggling it. So what does this mean? This means that you, you see all sorts of subscription services pop up that says, turn your business into a, a media subscription service, reoccurring revenue. Um, okay. But why? Why would you do it? What do you have to offer? You can't just say, uh, my business is now a, a membership organization, so please pay me some money. It's got to come organically. So whatever you do has to already be of benefit, but the economies of scale, which you can pass savings on to your customers, the economies of scale mean that a servicized version of you as a consultant, like you can have someone on retainer, that's a servicized you know, uh, method, or uh, a, a servicized uh, software um, it has to inherently have value first. That's why um, when we do, you know, uh, offer benefits with our membership, uh, when, when I put my circuit magazine or BBA or Nava hat on, it's, it, it truly stems from community benefits first. And the economies of scales of being a member means that you can offer completely free education or discounted education or uh, access to things that are not possible otherwise. And it's not like people are, uh, are going to buy into a service where you're forever dangling a carrot and taking it away. That's not going to work. You've got to actually deliver. When someone has signed up, you've got to deliver. So that's, that's my thought. I see serviceization really increasing. PaaS, SaaS, IaaS, being a consultant, being on retainer. Um, the break-fix model of the managed service provider or the individual job for the individual EP agent. I get it. It's going to be important to put food on your table, but you don't want to be stuck there, do you? You don't want to be forever waiting for the call. Who has this particular visa for this particular country? Is that me? Uh, yes. Or more often than not, no. It, it needs to be proactive and predictable uh, income, which is good for the whole community. Uh, you know, you don't want you don't want to be forever wondering where your next meal is coming from. So I hope this has been helpful. Take a look at more of the academic literature around serviceization, if only to see some of the different models. And as we did from that nice academic article, win-win for you and, uh, and your career. And as I said at the beginning, please share this. You, you'll notice that each week I've been considering what I'd like you to do. Would I like you to like it or share it or subscribe or things like that? And, and obviously, I believe that it's best served if you come up with one message otherwise you ask for three things you get nothing so please share this message because sharing it will help grow the community um, and also lets people know that more people are looking at this which is social proof um, and I really value that thanks for your time serviceization this has been weekly marketing thoughts for security by CTD intelligence and I look forward to seeing you next week